Uh, there is a large Hmong population in Wausau. People don't think about that, but it's uh, actually got one of the largest Asian populations, certainly in northern Wisconsin, I think. Absolutely. A big uh, Hmong uh, population. There is a great restaurant in town. If you're interested in sampling Hmong food, it's called The Paradox. And here with Hmong cuisine, Valor from The Paradox Restaurant. Whoa! Look at the size of them sausages. How are you? Nice I'm to good. Meet you. Thank you for joining us yeah. here. Now, is this all traditional Hmong cuisine? These yes, large it is. sausages. Uh, those Hmong sausages are made by uh, actual Hmong people in yeah. Saint Paul. Really? Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. They look like real Polish sausage. Uh, I don't know. They make it themselves. Really? How is it different from a Polish sausage, for example? I don't know. Give them a try. Mmm, <laughs> they're delicious. And these are the sauce that you could dip them in. Oh, I don't know this that. This is the sweet sauce that we make ourselves. Okay. This one's uh, a bottle sauce, a sweet sauce mm -hmm. with chili, and Sorry. then a chili and peanut sauce. Mm. Mm, I like the sweet sauce. What, and as far as the sausage itself, is it pork sausage? Oh, uh, yeah, I think it is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure, I can't, okay? I so. can't have it. <laughs> Pride is coming. All right, here, take the dipping sauce with Clyde. It's great the musicians come to the rescue like that. It's not all for you, Clyde. And Some then this is sticky rice. Very good. What kind of rice? Sticky rice? Sticky rice, mm -hmm. yeah. But it was um, washed in uh, coconut milk. Mm -hmm. so. Really? It's, one would eat this with the food, I presume. But I'm just going to grab a little. Just to taste your rice because... Uh, oh, it is sticky. Yeah. <laughs> that's the coconut milk that makes it sticky? Uh, no, it's just it's already sticky. Mm, that's so good. Is, is there a, the New Year coming up, the Hmong New Year? Mm -hmm. When does that start? in December. In December. Yeah. And uh, would this be traditionally served, these types of foods? Uh, yeah, they, they sell it only. It's not free. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> sorry. I understand. Well, you it come down to the restaurant and then you could eat them there. Yeah. Is there like a special New Year's dish that's served on the New Year's that's, um, that you wouldn't see the rest of the no, year? No, there's nothing. Yeah. There's like for, uh, for weddings, they have uh, traditional ones where they, you can't eat any pepper with it. You can't eat pepper? Yep. Yeah. Well, that it's leaves just, a lot of it's ground, just actually. It's boiled uh, pork. Boiled pork. Yeah, plain boiled pork with maybe some ginger and stuff like that. And if you have pepper, is that bad luck then? Yeah, they say it's bad luck. You're not supposed to eat it. I must have had pepper at my wedding. <laughs> I do. Did. I remember emptying a bottle of pepper at my wedding. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I would have known at the time. I had no idea. This sauce is very good. It is pork. So I'm just going to put it in the sauce, which clears it with God. <laughs> mm. And, um... These are stuffed chicken wings. They're, stuffed chicken wings. Yep, they're what a boneless. Good they're gorgeous. And what are they stuffed with? Uh, with the egg roll stuffings. Hmm. Oh, boy, would you like this. <laughs> Next time we go out, you got to eat, too. <laughs> this is delicious. This is also a traditional di dish? Uh, yeah, that's traditional. Uh -huh. mm. You can talk a little bit if you want. I just got... <laughs> that's excellent. Well, uh, we also serve Thai cuisines at our restaurants. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do Thai food, uh, we do Hmong food, and then we're going to be adding some American food also. I don't think that'll play around here. <laughs> is, is Hmong food and Thai food similar? As uh, far as the spices? No, they're a little bit different because um, for the Thai food, they got a little bit more spice in them. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of curry dishes, which have a lot of spice in them. And then the brown sauce one, it's got a little sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people like the brown sauce one. Yeah. Do you do the, the peanut kind of sauce as well? Is that, I know you have one here. Is that, is uh, that mung or is some, that thyme? Oh, that's, I made that myself. You did? So, yeah. So it's your sauce? Yeah, it's my sauce. Basically. Yeah. It's these, good for dipping with the egg rolls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are the egg rolls. These are also <laughs> the largest egg rolls that, you've that ever I've ever seen. seen. <laughs> so are these, is this be mung or this be? Those are mung egg rolls, yeah. Yeah. And what makes them mung? Uh, you put your own stuffing in there. Okay. It's so it's got bean thread, uh, bean thread noodles, um, ca carrots, cabbage, um, onions, green, green onions. Good. I can eat all that. Cilantro. Yeah. Okay. Everything. I'm gonna try your peanut. It's hot, so you better be careful. It's not real hot, is it? It's hot. Nah. <laughs> it's really not hot at all. I'm surprised you think it was hot. This mm. one's the sweet sauce. Very good. I mean, a lot of American people, they like the sweet sauce. I'm not like American people. <laughs> <laughs> so you can handle spicy food then? 
This is, I love this. This is delicious. It's a little bit, it gets a little hotter. <laughs> Try this with the hot, here, Clyde, dip it. Got, take the chicken. It's got real ready. chili right, in there. <laughs> what, is the, what is the spice in there that makes it hot? What was that? What is the hot spice that you use? Oh, uh, you mean for this peanut yeah. sauce? You just use those um, chili peppers. Just chili peppers. Yeah, okay. those long chili peppers. Yeah. Oh, this is delicious. That's good. Wonderful. Your restaurant used to be, it was an old established place here in town for many uh, years. Oh, yeah, it used to be Bill's Fine Food, and then my brother bought it, mm -hmm. and then I just started running the restaurant. Yeah, well, it's wonderful. Is it, is it a family-run restaurant? Yeah, or? it's a family-run restaurant. Mm. And, so um, there's your, your brother, Bill, and you. No. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's name is Tu Shong. Tu Shong. Yeah. Oh, Bill was the guy before you. Okay, yeah, Tu Shong is your brother. He used okay. to be called Bill's Fine Food. Oh, okay, all right, I'm getting this all confused. And then who else is in the family that runs the restaurant? Uh, my stepmom, my father, uh, my mom helps out also, and mm -hmm. then me and my husband, and then my brother and his wife. And the Paradox, the name of that? Uh, that's, that's just, right now it's going to be only for the bar, mm -hmm. bar section, and we're going to be changing the restaurant to Cochina's, Cochina's the Thai restaurant. Oh, you are? Yeah. We still have the Hmong food as well? Yeah, we're going to have everything. Okay, and there, there is a big Hmong community in, in town, right? Yeah, there is. Some like five... Like 5,000 people or five, I'm not sure. several thousand families, I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wonderful. And uh, So t check out the Paradox and uh, go in the bar by all means because it's going to yeah, be Kachina. It's, it's good, yeah. And uh, where is the address once again? Uh, 932 South 3rd Avenue, uh, located on the west side of Wausau. Wonderful. This gets hotter and hotter as I'm talking right now. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat, but I, it's, it's a supposed good... supposed to get hot. It's a good sweat. Yeah, it is. You know, I feel it when all my pores... Usually it's flop sweat when I feel this way. But we, this al is not we also serve um, uh, pho, that's in Hmong, which is beef noodle soup. Mm -hmm. And it's really hot also. It is, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll watch out for that too when I come there. <laughs> Great food, wonderful food. Thank you for bringing it though. Yeah, thanks. Valor from the Paradox. I got a little more of the hot sauce. Once again, the What Do You Know Trio. Mm -hmm.
Got these up. To find out more about our CD Roadkill, click on notmuch.com or call our hotline at 1-800-WHA-KNOW. Michael Feldman's What Do You Know is produced by Wisconsin Public Radio for Public Radio International, Michael Feldman, Producer International, Todd Witter, Producer with assistance from Lyle Anderson, Judith Heisey Kovalik, Diana Cook, Kelly Osborne, and Betsy Rice, Technical Director Stephen Cologne with mixing by Rick Kirkpatrick and Kurt Sorensen. Next week, we're back live at Madison with a salute to Willits, California. we got a smorgasbord going around here, so grab some. But try the sauce, really. You need the sauce with that. Thank you all for having us here in Wausau. It's been great to be here at the Grand Theater. We'll be back again soon, I hope. Jim Packard over here on my left, the What Do You Know Trio. Clyde, Jeff, and John. Thank you all. Radio International.